Lafcadio, Chapter 7. Now, said the circus man, you smell 100% better. Now run down to the barbershop while I take a little nap. Also, get some clothes to wear. We can't have you running around absolutely naked. Well, okay, said the lion, but I've never really thought of myself as naked before. Now it took the young lion quite a while to get downstairs because he made the elevator man ride him up and down 46 times. And when he finally got outside, he began to look around for a barbershop. But he couldn't find one because he didn't know what a barbershop looked like. As a matter of fact, he didn't even know what a barbershop was. So he just walked around and looked for a barbershop while all the people just looked at him and said, wow, and yow, and Sowie, look, Adeline, which means Zowie, look at the lion. And so it was just about this time that your own Uncle Shelby was crossing the street on my way to get a hot dog with some tomato and onions on it. When the young lion walked up to me and said, excuse me, could you please direct me to a barbershop? Well, you can imagine how surprised I was to hear a lion ask me a question like that. But I said I would be glad to take him to an excellent barbershop, and he seemed very pleased. Thank you very much, he said. You are the nicest person I have met since I have been in this country, and you are also very, very handsome and very well dressed, and you look like a man who is very intelligent and very kind. In fact, said the young lion, I should think you would be President of the United States. No, I said, I do not have time to be President of the United States, as I am too busy writing stories for children. But it is true that I am very handsome and very intelligent and very kind. I will admit to that. So I took the young lion to the barber shop, but the barber was out to lunch, and we just sat in the barber's chairs and chatted for a while. And I remember the lion had his claws manicured, and he said he liked it very much, although the woman who gave him a manicure said she had never seen such filthy nails in all of her life. Oh my, how you would have laughed if you had seen him sitting there in the barber's chair with his long mane hanging down and his paws sticking out from under the sheet getting a manicure. I'm only sorry you couldn't have seen him. As a matter of fact, I did see you walking past the barber shop with your mother just about that time. And I tapped on the window, but I guess you didn't hear me because you were looking at a fire engine and you didn't even turn around. Would you like a shoe shine? Asked the shoe shine boy. As a matter of fact, I would, but I don't have any shoes, said the lion. Well then, how about a paw shine? Asked the shoe shine boy. Yes, said the young lion. I think I would like a paw shine very much. And so the lion had his paws shine and he was very pleased with them. And he asked me if I didn't think they looked very beautiful and shiny and I said yes. But to tell you the truth, I don't think his paws looked very much different from before they were shined. But I didn't want to hurt his feelings. And finally, the barber came back from lunch. Oh my gosh, said the barber. I must have eaten a terrible lunch. I should never have had that chocolate ice cream mixed in with my corned beef hash because now I've got indigestion and I think I am seeing things. As a matter of fact, I think I see a lion in my barber chair having his paws shine and his claws manicured. No, I said, you are not seeing things. This is my friend, the lion, and he wants a haircut, and I imagine he wants his mustache trimmed also. Yes, said the lion, I want a very good haircut. That is the main thing. Well, you won't get it here, said the barber. I don't cut lion's hairs. Rawr, said the lion. Yes, sir, said the barber with a great smile, and the lion got his haircut. And then the barber gave him a massage, which he loved very much, because it's very much like being scratched behind the ears. And he had his head sprinkled with water that smelled wonderful, and he loved that part best of all. And as a matter of fact, he drank up half a bottle of it before I could tell him that was definitely not the thing to do. And finally, the young lion got out of the barber's chair and smiled and said, Let's go, Uncle Shelby. I feel like a new lion. Just a minute, said the barber. You haven't paid me yet, and that will cost you exactly. Roar, said the lion. Exactly nothing, said the barber, smiling. Today is the day I am giving free haircuts, and I hope you enjoyed yours very much.